Well, hey everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at IT Chapter 2, directed by Andy Muschietti and starring James McAvoy, Jessica Chastain, and Bill Skarsgård. 27 years ago, a group of friends who referred to themselves as the Losers Club fought off a mysterious being known simply as IT, who often took the shape of a creepy-ass clown. After defeating it, they all swore an oath that should it ever return to Derry, they would also return to kill it once and for all. Unfortunately, that day has come, and the now grown adult losers must once again face that goddamn clown. I have been looking forward to this ever since I saw It Chapter 1, which was really good, one of the better horror movies I've seen. It was creepy as all get out, and I just loved Bill Skarsgård's performance as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. And the kids were all fantastic in that movie. They weren't just great actors, but they acted so well together. Just amazing chemistry from that group. And that brings us to It Chapter 2. Which I liked, but not nearly as much as I liked Chapter 1. There is still a lot of good stuff happening here. Once again, really good cast. If there was ever a case for creating a casting director Oscar, this would be it. I mean, this is it, but you know, it would be, you know what I meant. They found not only a talented group of actors, but actors who looked and acted like grown-up versions of these kids. Of course, McAvoy and Chastain were great. They usually are. Uh, I was especially impressed with Bill Hader. I wasn't really sure how well he would do in a straight role. That's obviously not what he's known for, but he nailed it. And I really liked Isaiah Mustafa, who plays the grown-up version of Mike. And for the entire movie, I kept thinking, man, this guy looks familiar, but I cannot place him. And it wasn't until several days later that I finally realized, oh, it's the Old Spice guy. I love that guy. And once again, Bill Skarsgård is just amazing and so goddamn creepy, especially when he moves his eyes in opposite directions, which is apparently not special effects. He actually can do that. It's unsettling. The movie does have some very charming moments, like the big reunion scene in the Chinese restaurant, and it was great to see all these characters getting back together again, and even though the actors, the adult actors, I should say, I don't think they have quite as good chemistry as the child actors did, their friendship still feels very genuine. And the movie has some creepy as hell moments. Like the scene in the Chinese restaurant. And I'm glad they were able to bring the kids back for a few flashbacks, because they're great. But the movie does have its share of problems. And problem number one, it is way, way too long. This thing was almost three hours long and really did not need to be. And I am not just saying that because I made the mistake of getting the large soda. I'm saying that because there was a whole lot of filler in here that easily could have been cut. Starting with that gratuitously brutal homophobic hate crime at the beginning of the movie that went absolutely nowhere. And I get that it's a horror movie and it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable, but even horror has to have a point. And there was no point to that scene. And before anyone says it, yes, I am aware that it was in the book. So was the child orgy and they cut that. Thank Christ. The bit about Mike's wife going catatonic and getting woken up by a bike ride was in the book. They didn't include that. And if you saw the original 1990 TV miniseries, do you remember how that started with Mike calling up each individual loser one at a time and basically the calls all follow the exact same pattern? Hey, it's Mike. Who? Mike from Derry. And suddenly the character remembers like, oh yeah, Mike, that's funny. I had completely forgotten everything about Derry. What's up? Oh, it's back. Oh, yeah, I need you to come back. Oh, okay, I'm on my way. And they did that with every single freaking loser. Well, I was wondering how this movie would actually improve upon that, and they didn't. There, there has to be a better way to do that, because, God, it just got so repetitive. The movie also has a few jump scares. Not many, but... And I'd have to go back and rewatch Chapter 1 to compare, but it at least felt more jump scary to me. And while it still has a very creepy vibe whenever Pennywise is doing his thing, I don't think the scares overall were quite as effective this time around. And for a while, I was trying to think of why it was that I didn't find this one as scary as Chapter 1. And part of it may be that 
these events are now happening to grown-ass adults who you would think could handle themselves a bit more than children could. And, you know, seeing children suffer is always a bit more unsettling. But I think it's also that the scares had a more personal connection to their childhood trauma the first time around, and there wasn't as much of that in Chapter 2. And as for the big final battle with it, of course, the 1990 version was so disappointing because it was just a big rubber spider. This time around, it's a CGI spider with Pennywise's head, which is both better and worse, I think. It's better because it at least looks better. It's much more well done than that stupid rubber spider, but... I don't know if putting Pennywise's head on that monster was necessarily the best call. I just, I don't know. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know how I feel about love triangles. This movie did not change how I feel about love triangles. It's like, I know y'all got some issues you gotta work out, but did you forget about the giant evil clown monster that's trying to kill you? Like, there's a time and place to be horny and this ain't it. But like I said, even though it was not as good as Chapter 1, I still like Chapter 2 overall, and if you were a fan of Chapter 1, I would say it is worth seeing. Maybe save a bit of money and go for a matinee. And also, don't order the large soda. And that's all I got to say about IT Chapter 2. Till next time, take care.